Hello everybody, this is Nate, and today we're going to take a look at the game Omerta, City of Gangsters. In this game, you play as the boss, that's his default name, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, it's a fantastic game, you play as a gangster, mob leader, uh, it's pretty cool. So, first thing we're going to do is take a look at some options and things, this is the main menu here. Uh, you have your basic new game, continue, load game, multiplayer. I've never tried. I think it could be interesting. I'm not sure what they would, how they would set it up. Just having played the game, I'm not sure where the multiplayer aspect comes in. Uh, but we may take a look at that. Uh, sandbox, which we're going to take a look at today. I've never played, but I have a pretty good idea of what it is. Uh, options, achievements, credits, and exiting the game. Now the achievements is cool, instead of pulling up the Steam app and showing you all the achievements, it actually has a built-in achievement guide, or not guide, but an achievement, I don't know, book, I guess. Um, so you have your basic achievements, completing Act 1, completing Act 2, uh, and then you have some cool ones, so like, one shot, one kill over here, killed an enemy at full health with a single attack, done it. Uh, the ones that you haven't done are the question marks, so close and personal. I almost never use melee weapons, so yeah, that would make sense. Uh, six pages of these. Uh, yeah, killed three enemies with a single attack. That's pretty sweet. Uh, one thing you will have noticed by now is the music in this game is fantastic. And now that I've said that, it stopped. That go that figures. Uh, oh well. Uh, it's got this 50s vibe, of course. Oh, there it is. I like it. It's good. Alright, so in your options menu here, you have your your basic options. Uh, apparently this does support a gamepad. Which I have one. I've not used it in this game. Now I want to try it. Not today. We'll try it later. But, uh, just, I don't know how that'd work. Oh, well. Inverted mouse wheel, that seems odd. Uh, you got your scroll speed, your basic sound speeds, or sound <laughs> volumes. <laughs> wow. Uh, visuals. Pretty good visual options here. I mean, not everything, obviously, but it's pretty good. Uh, you can actually change the refresh rate to force it to 60. I thought that was inter interesting. Uh, all sorts of display resolutions. Many more than I've seen on most most things. I mean, you have 16 by 10 here, and it looks like they try hard to fit in a lot of options on this one. Uh, so that's that's good. V-Sync, of course, on or off. Uh, detail levels, we go high, and all your other basic things. Uh, we're actually gonna cut this down to medium. For the purposes of this video, uh, I was testing it earlier. Noticed some fray rate drops during combat, but uh, other than that, oh, hotkeys. Uh, oh, you can uh, you can rebind them. I've never had to. I've always felt that the keys were pretty good. Um, I never felt like I needed. The hotkeys, actually I'm not even sure if I've ever used the hotkeys to be honest. Um, it's, the system is pretty good. So we're going to start a sandbox here. Uh, where do we want to go? We'll go to the lighthouse, sure. We're going to name our character. Um, yeah, we'll just make it B. Actually, no. We're going to make him Sin Cardone. That name kind of stuck after a, after a role-playing game I played. It's kind of neat. Uh, I usually play as this guy. I like him. Uh, so, your character, you go through a whole character creation process. Uh, your character has a basic backstory. You grew up in a small village in Sicily. But then you get to pick your nickname, and this affects uh, your stats. Your stats are over here. I'll tell you what you do. Uh, Muscle lets you move further and better damage with weapons, melee weapons. Finesse is firearms. Toughness is hit points. 
smarts, uh, you get to act more often in battle. I'll explain what that means a little later. Uh, guts increases basically your morale. And cunning gives you more action points. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with kind of a... Maybe we'll go like a pistolero type deal here. So, uh... What does smarts do? Act more often in battle. Now nah, we'll go rifles. I like rifles in this game. So we'll go hood. Actually, no, I don't even like that nickname. We're gonna go with berries. No, I don't know. I'm so decisive. Yeah, we'll go with hood. That's fine. Uh, you, when you grew up enough, your father decided you should learn diligence and learn a trade. You became apprentice to... We'll go with a shopkeeper. There. The most ridiculous feat you managed to pull off during your youth was stealing a key. Wrestling an enraged bull. That's, yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. As a kid, that's impressive. Man. Sweet talking a lone shark to forgive your debt. Okay, that's that's pretty impressive, too. Uh, we're gonna go with stealing the key, because that sounds fun. And it gives us finesse. <laughs> Fell in love with the prettiest girl in the village. Her brother challenged you to a duel. Uh, you got to pick the weapon. Wow, this is old school. Um, yeah, we're not going to do bare fists. Why would guts go down? you think if you're fighting with your bare fists, you'd be pretty gutsy. Um, pistol's good. Yeah, we'll go with the pistol. I don't really want to lower my cunning anymore, but I don't really care if muscle goes down. I want to use rifles anyway, so should be good there. Decided to leave Sicily because Don put a price on your head. Yeah, that'd be bad. A vendetta wiped out your family. Okay. Uh. Ooh. I think we're gonna go with the price on our head. I don't really plan on being up close in combat. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, victory condition. Okay, this one's new for me. That's cool. Um, so we're just gonna do a free play here. Because, you know, we don't really have... We don't really have a goal. Just showing you guys how the game runs. Uh, select difficulty level. Medium, that's fine. Uh, no, we're gonna turn that off. Uh, we'll do low for this. Desired rival gang aggression. We'll go low as well. That way I can focus on showing you guys what's going on. As opposed to, you know, pummeling some punks into the ground. Alright, load screen, of course. I do like the revolver down here, I think that's a cool addition. It adds to the vibe. Okay, here we are. Uh, here's me. I'm, here's my base of operations, my hideout, as I call it. Um, what do I start with? 8,000. Now, it has been a little while since I played this game. So, we're going to go rent out a joint a first. Cost 200 dirty money. So, down here... Oops. Should probably take it easy there. Uh, you have dirty money. So, you know, illegal, illegal money. Needs to be laundered to do anything legitimate with it. And you have clean money which is laundered money, and it's unfortunate that that's so close to the edge, because I keep scrolling down. 
I don't mean to. There's a reason why I'm the boss. Yes, there is. All right, so he just finished an objective. Uh, that's not what I meant to click on. So we're gonna establish something here. Uh, uh, boxing arena is pretty good. I like boxing arena. Uh, always a, always a good call. Uh, now, boxing arena is nice because it doesn't require any. It doesn't require me to have any materials. So down here you have your storage space, which I have 50 of right now. You can increase that. You can buy warehouses, stuff like that. Uh, you have beer, you have liquor, and you have firearms. Those are your main ones. Man, I just can't stop scrolling down. Alright, he just finished That's another one. Done. Oh, somebody doesn't like me. Oh well. Man, I keep looking. there. Alright, so efficiency, it's at 72%. Uh, this is based on my liked rating, which is over here, which is a 2. So, you know, not great there. Uh, so we're going to check it out. Oh, there's a couple of hotels in the area, so that's nice. Uh, hotels are helping it. I don't know where those are yet. I have to pay an informant right here to tell me. So I can either do a big spender, give him 100, or I can give him 10 beer, which I don't have. So we'll do Big Spender. And in the meantime... Uh, oh yeah, I can hire people. Okay. Uh, we're going to examine some of these guys. Maybe hire a couple. Uh, so these are like, uh, you know, your basic... Your, your basic gang members. Uh, you can examine them. They all have talents and abilities. Uh, so Squigs here, he uses a pistol, and he's got this defensive stance. Now if you hit perks, he's got no perks. Alright, good to know. Uh, they have a bio on all of them, which is great. Uh, adds, you know, to the flavor of the game there. Um, I actually really like Wolf. I don't know. He, he starts with a rifle. He's expensive, $105 a day. So, you know. But uh, he's got some cool abilities. So I think for now, we're just going to hire Squigs. Uh, yeah, $15 a day, we can afford that. And that lets us do more than one thing at a time. So we can rent this premises now. You don't have to repeat that. And see what we can add to that. Uh, make that a little better. Alright, he gathered in some information. So now, up here on the map, you'll notice all these X's just came up. Those are all places. So there's another joint right there. Nice beeswax, eh, boss? Good work, Squigs. Uh, so I think we're going to do a brewery, most likely. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do a brewery. Don't have to repeat that. What's this? Okay, so there's a casino. Now, this is a casino already owned by other people. So I have some options here. I can firebomb the place and make them leave. I can go and gamble there and hopefully make some money. Or I can buy the place. It, with, for 8,000 dirty, mo dirty money. And it requires a warm relations. Uh, relations are neutral. If I gamble there, I think they go up. As long as I lose... I think. Pretty sure if you win, they're still upset. So, here's a crime lord. I could buy weapons from him. Uh, a katana. That's pretty cool. Or I can send him an appeasement gift. Uh, or I can do work for him. He, he'll he pay me money and my heat will increase. Uh, heat, of course, is Done, how boss. bad the cops want you. Alright, sweet. So we have a brewery now. That's pretty cool. You can stop work, you can abandon it, uh, you can usually check the efficiency, but there's nothing really going on here. Uh, what's the hat mean? I don't know. Oh, cool. Alright. So this is something that doesn't show, or hasn't shown up so far in the main campaign. The higher goons to defend it. I would not seen that one. 
Uh, so you can increase its efficiency or your liked rating, which is nice. Uh, that would help my boxing arena over here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that, because in the long run it's going to make me more money. So increase my liked rating, and you'll see this number start to climb. Uh, so that's the first upgrade, and I can get both, and I can get the hat. Uh, okay, so I just paid money to my henchman, which is uh, Squigs. So you'll see this efficiency is starting to go up. This this negative here is going up and up. I can sell three beer a minute, make some money off of the beer that I'm making down here, which I think I'll do. Go ahead and start that working. And again, the efficiency is still going up, which is excellent. Uh, now I'm going to start selling the beer because I only have 50 storage space. Uh, so that's your basic buy stuff, build stuff type deal. You can also buy... What is this? Oh, a rival business. Again, I've not really seen those in the main campaign. Well, I have. They just look different. So really all you can do is drive-bys there. Uh, there's another crime lord. It's good to know. Uh, what's up here? There's an informant. Uh, here's a politician. Uh, you can extort them, you can do a charity event, or you can pay them to get out of jail. Which is neat. Another politician. Uh, just because they're both politicians doesn't mean they have to have the same options here. Sometimes they have separate options. Depends. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's your basics. Uh, over here you have some gang management window forgot that that was that uh, now these are jobs that you can do outside so you can buy and sell beer uh, liquor so this guy's selling five for 140 so if you really need it right now or you know you can flip it for more uh, it's worth it you start to figure out after a while what what a good price is uh, firearms here so like the 15 firearms for 440 is way better than the six firearms for 300. Oh wait, he's selling and he's buying. So I could sell this and make most of my money back right there, or buy this and make most of my money back right there. That's pretty good. Uh, these guys offer loans or need loans. Uh, sometimes they pay, sometimes they don't. You f you'll figure out after a while who does and who doesn't. Uh, the rabbi launders money for you, but he gets upset pretty easily. And then special ones, but there aren't any, so no luck there. Um, okay, so like the rabbi right here already wants 25 beer. So I can buy 20. Not really a good, good call there, but uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, I was hoping to show you... I won't beat my guns, I'll go ahead and pay that. And pay this one. Again, the options could be different. Uh, you can also steal cars. That's kind of neat. Um, speeds up your your henchman and your boss there. You know, because then they have a car to drive around. So that's that's a cool addition. Uh, more politicians. Another joint. That's a safe house, right? Right, right, right. Who's this? Another politician. Oh, see, he's got a launder, launder money option. What do we got, Squigs? Jeez. Alright, so he just opened up a whole bunch more. Uh, there's a bank you can pull heists. Uh, a resident. What is that noise? Sounds like something's on fire. That's how it's done. Uh, wow, okay, he just opened up a whole bunch over here. So, there's a hotel, for example. I can have a party and buy it. Uh, speakeasy. That's cool. Another bank. So, we're going to hit a bank to show you guys the combat options. There's a gun runner. Uh, another bank. Another joint. Something was on fire, right? That wasn't just me. Somebody heard, everybody else heard that? Here we go, here's a deputy. Uh, he can sell me a pistol, but I need warm relations. So 
so I can bribe him for a thousand to get warm relations, and then I could buy this pistol from him. Uh, Crime Lord, what are you selling? Another katana? Oh, okay, so this one has more options, so tw plus 20% damage, so if I was going melee, that'd be pretty good. Another Crime Lord. Knuckles, man, they're just selling stuff all over the place. Alright, so here I could raid this to get firearms, supplies, not actual weapons to use, unfortunately. Uh, construction lot, okay. So these you can buy with clean money. And then you uh, build on them. You can build hotels, speakeasies, a rival gang just took over my boxing arena. That's not good. Normally I'd be very upset about that, but that's alright. Because we're just going to heist a bank. Uh, he'll increase and get $5,000 on to success. And notice there's only one symbol there, so the money will be dirty money. Time to get my hands dirty. So we're going to go ahead and start that. And he needs a car and firearms in order to do a drive-by. I have neither. So instead, we're gonna see if we can sell some beer. It's a free country, in it. So he just took a bunch of beer and is going to sell it. And he'll get there in a little bit. And again, if he has a car, it's faster. All right, here we go. Bank heist. Alright, so normally you can only do, you can put four people on there. I don't have four people. So, we're going to do it with two. We're probably going to lose this. We'll see. So I think all we have Ready, are pistols. Boss. Horse feathers, here they are. Alright, so I can already start shooting at this guy. So your options are down here. I have a quick shot that takes three action points, uh, a precise shot takes five, or stomach shot takes four, and then special abilities, defensive stance, yep, so here's your action points, movement points, and whether or not you want to aim. Increases your hit chance but takes a action point, an extra action point. So we're just going to start shooting. We've made him aware that we're here. Which isn't mm. necessarily a good thing. But that's alright. So movement points. Now we're down to five. Can we make it up here in five? No. So we're just going to end our turn there. Oh, wait. Can I, hit? Can I see that guy? No. No, I can't. Alright. Ready, boss. Alright, excellent. He missed twice. That's that's great news. So I just took cover behind this car now. Uh yeah, you do have to be in certain places for cover to work. Alright, one shot. Maybe I can kill him. Nope, missed. That figures. Hmm. But he can see him now. So we'll go ahead and take a couple of pot shots at him. Time to meet your maker. Alright, got him. Oh, he had three shots. That's nuts. Ready, boss. All right, back to Squigs. So you can see our goal is here. There's wrenches. There. That's where we're trying to get get the money. And then we have to get out, which usually getting out is the hard part. Oh, Squigs, you are way back there. So we're gonna run you all the way over here. And hope that you can stay out of the line you of fire. You got a bite. Yeah, you should be all right. All right, let's go. Seventy-three percent to hit. That's pretty good. I'll take it. There are a lot of enemies. Wow, squeezes in the open, and the guy still missed. Oh, 
Now he's bleeding. That's All right, cool. let's go. Just gonna move him up here. See if we can have a better shot to hit some of these guys. 93% with an aim. That's pretty good. Yeah, boys. So he's bleeding now. Takes 10 damage each turn. So move him up. And we just need I to hit. Yeah, alright, sweet. Oh crap, there's another one back there. Jeez. So what do we got now? Five that I have to kill? All right, let's go. All right, here we go. Dang it! On it. Was really hoping to kill him with that. I'm way better than you. Yeah, Squeaks has a confidence issue there. Uh, he just shot that wall a whole bunch. He's just standing on the dead body. Uh, I need a doctor. All right, so we're gonna use our special ability. Uh, reach, heals half the damage taken and removes all negative effects. Recharges on a kill. So that got rid of that damage there. And now I have to kill someone to get the ability back. And at this rate, that's not going to happen. Alright. Squigs, can you help any here? Alright. Yeah, so like I said before we started here. Man, there's another one back there. It's like mm. I said. Oh, Squigs down. Yeah, so it's not looking good. Probably not going to win this. But that's okay. Uh, is there a way to... Yeah, you can forfeit combat there, or you can restart. Alright, so the good news is, he's panicked now. Bad news is, they're still shooting me in the back. Time to get a move on. Alright, so if I kill him here... Oh, man. Oh, he still missed. One more hit. That's it. Yep, there we go. Alright, so, uh... Now, Squigs is in prison. I'm not sure if you can be put in prison or not. But, uh, your allies can. So, Squigs was caught by the police and jailed. Now, a new job will come up that I can rescue him. If I so desire. Or I can leave him there. May even be able to fire him. Uh, so now you notice. Oops. What did I press? Uh, so now, actually, I have an injury here. Do I have any perks? No. Uh, so he can't pr partake in combat until his injury until this goes away. Uh, now the persistent wounds don't go away or take a very very long time. So his initiative is reduced by three because he has head trauma. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the whole game, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of finagling, trying to get the best deals, trying to get um, the, the best places. Apparently trying to take back your uh, boxing, boxing rings. Go figure. Um, yeah, so it's it's a very enjoyable game if you like, you know, kind of being the bad guy, because you are. You're the bad guy. Uh, of course, he tries to swing it. Well, it's not my fault. You know, this is just how I can make money. You're a gangster. You kill people. You're a bad guy. But it's a hell of a lot of fun. 
Um, you build up these enterprises out of nothing. Um, it's just, it's a really enjoyable game. They do have a demo for this, so if you're not sold... Who's shooting now? They're taking this over, aren't they? Um, if you're not sold, go try out the demo. Uh, gives you a few... Actually, I don't remember what all it gives you. Gives you a few options. Uh, I think it, you can play the first level, uh, which is is great. Uh, the the story missions are fun. They're they make sense. They're they're enticing. You know, you want to see where he's going. Rival gang is taking over my brewery. Yep. Okay. That figures. Uh, you always want to see where they're going with it. Um, so it's it's a fun game. So yeah, take a look, take a peek, uh, support the developers. They did a great job. Uh, I mean, I have probably f 30 or 40 hours into this, and I still haven't beaten the the main campaign. And that's all I've played. I've this is the first time in the sandbox mode. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Day night cycles, everything. We're gonna steal this car just for the heck of it. Um, look, there he is. Just running down the road. Yeah, and like, the graphics are pretty good considering it's, you know, a top down. There's a reason why I'm view. the boss. Um, the stylized cars are good, the shadow effects are, are good, and this is only on medium. This is not even the highest settings. Uh, yeah. Alright, so this is Nate, and this has been Omerta, City of Gangsters. Check it out, play the game, it's, it's good, it's good, you'll enjoy it. So until next time, take care.